One of the very few positive things about Crimes of Windowwald, the movie, was the cliffhanger ending at the very end. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video, so let's go. Hey everyone, my name is Tejas and this is the Squibbler. If you're watching me for the first time, I don't usually do movie reviews or movie theories, but I do cover Harry Potter gaming, namely Hogwarts Mystery, and soon to be released and highly anticipated Wizards Unite. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe down below. Otherwise, let's continue with the theory. Of course, if you want to watch my full movie review for Crimes of Grindelwald, where I talk about the numerous times that the canon has been broken in this film, then you can definitely go check out that movie. I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. Of course, we're going to be talking about spoilers in this video, so if you have not seen the movie yet, I highly recommend you stop watching right now and come back to this video once you've watched the film. But otherwise, you have been warned. Let's begin. Crimes of Grindelwald ends with a rather interesting cliffhanger ending of Credence being revealed as being Aurelius Dumbledore. Now, before everyone says that he is Albus Dumbledore's brother, because that's what Grindelwald said, that's actually not true. I watched this film two times already, and I was very keen on understanding what exactly Grindelwald said to Credence in that last scene. And what he said was, your brother wants to seek to destroy you, something like that. But he doesn't specifically say Albus Dumbledore is out there seeking to destroy you. So technically, although it is definitely implied, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it was implied, Dumbledore is Aurelius's brother. However, Grindelwald doesn't say it out loud. He doesn't use Albus Dumbledore's name, so it is possible that Aurelius isn't Albus Dumbledore's brother, but he could be a relative. There are multiple theories running around on the internet right now as to who Aurelius Dumbledore really is. And I'm going to voice out a few opinions over here on, in this video, and I'm also going to tell you which one I support the most. One of the popular theories out there is that Grindelwald is simply lying to Credence. He could be lying to a certain extent, but I don't think he's lying about the full thing. Like I said, what he said definitely implies that Albus Dumbledore is Credence's brother, but I doubt that is true, and that's the part where I think Grindelwald is lying. But he probably is not lying about Credence being a Dumbledore because of the phoenix that they showed. Of course, that phoenix could have been summoned, but we saw the phoenix earlier in the movie when Credence was taking care of it, and we also see it at the very end in its full form. And that was definitely, for sure, Fox, because it looked very, very similar. So I've no doubt that Credence is actually a Dumbledore, but whether or not he is the brother of Albus is questionable. Now here's where we dive deeper into the theories. One theory out there is that there is this aunt of Albus, Aunt Honoria, which was mentioned, I think, very briefly in the books, but she was mentioned in the Tales of Beetle the Bard. Now, while I think that it is awfully convenient for this character, almost unheard of before, to have bared a child and a son called Aurelius Dumbledore, it seems very far-fetched and it just seems very, very convenient for the creators of this film, JK Rowling specifically, and whoever else was behind on the creative team who came up with this story, I highly, highly doubt that they're going to make it so convenient for a random character who was barely mentioned ever, who 99% of Potterheads probably have never heard of, to have had a son who was named Aurelius. So Aurelius Dumbledore being Albus Dumbledore's cousin also, to me, seems unlikely. And this is where it gets really dark. This next theory is where I think Aurelius Dumbledore is Ariana Dumbledore's son. Now I know, I know, Ariana died at the age of 14, but, like I said, it's a dark theme, so don't scold me for this, but it is possible, biologically, for a 14-year-old to have a child. And she was going through a lot during that phase because of the unsettling and uncontrollable magic that she was emitting from her body, probably someone might have taken advantage of her and gotten her pregnant. Which is why I believe that Credence is definitely a Dumbledore, because only someone with Dumbledore blood in them would have the Phoenix come to their aid, and not in any other case. So I definitely feel that Credence has Dumbledore blood in him, and I feel that he is the offspring of Ariana. That begs the question of who the father might be. Initially, I thought it might have been Grindelwald as the father because Grindelwald is very obsessed with Credence in the first movie. He has a very 
intimate relationship almost with Credence because he's trying to find out more about him which is also similar to Ariana Dumbledore's character who was also most likely an Obscurus. So maybe Grindelwald was first attracted to her because of her Obscurus and potentially got her pregnant. However, this could potentially not happen because Grindelwald only knows the Dumbledores for two months before Ariana dies. So it is very, very unlikely that Grindelwald is Credence's father. But of course, like I mentioned in my movie review video, there were several occasions in this movie where they broke canon. And it is definitely possible that if they continue this trend, they could break the canon for Grindelwald knowing the Dumbledores longer than what he is supposed to know. Provided that they don't break any more canon, Grindelwald might not be the father, which begs the question of who it actually could be. Another reason why I support Ariana Dumbledore being the mother of Credence is also because of the Obscurus. Now while Obscurials are not known to pass on the Obscurus from parent to child, Credence being an Obscurus almost pays homage to the fact that his mother was also an Obscurial. And let's also not forget that majority of the Obscurials ever recorded in history never go past the age of 10. And of course, it is physically, biologically impossible to bear a child before the age of 10. So because Ariana seems to have gone beyond the age of 10 and she died at age 14, it is still very, very barely possible that she did bear Credence. I forgot to mention this while shooting for the video, but I have one more evidence that supports my theory of Ariana being Credence's mother. Ariana, as we know from canon, dies towards the end of summer in 1899, which means she needed to have given birth to Credence latest by summer of 1899. Credence's birth takes place circa 1901, and there are conflicting reports of his age. While the adoption papers indicate he was born in 1904, the original screenplay of the movie indicates that the ship voyage takes place in 1901. Which means if the baby that Lita Lestrange exchanges her brother with is Credence, then he would have had to be born before 1901. Now I know that there is a two year gap between her death and his supposed birth, but given that we have seen canon being broken in this film, especially given McGonagall's age was increased by more than 40 years, it is possible that these dates could be changed to better suit the story. Honestly, that's pretty much all I have for this theory. I strongly believe that Credence definitely has Dumbledore blood in him. I feel that Grindelwald might have been lying to him about certain parts of whatever he said instead of the whole thing being a lie. And because of all the evidence that I've just laid out in front of you, I highly, highly, highly suspect that Ariana is the mother of Credence. So there you have it folks, those are the theories that I have for who is Credence in reality, who Aurelius Dumbledore really is, and how he is related to Albus Dumbledore. Let me know what you guys think, let me know what your theories are, I am very interested to find out all about it. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet already, go check out the review video which I made earlier today and it's also live at this current very moment, so you can go check it out right now as well. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video with more, probably Wizards Unite content. See you.